Yeah, I was really disappointed with our performance at, at Texas A&M. Um, I thought that was the first time that we didn't play with uh, with competitive spirit, um, and I was uh, I was pleased with the fact that we brought that competitive spirit against Kentucky. I don't know if it was the opponent or the fact that we was at home, um, but uh, in order for us to be competitive against any team in SEC, we need to make sure that we're playing hard and playing tough and being competitive. So. Now we've got to get ready here for Georgia, who's a big, strong, physical team, uh, do a great job defensively. Um, and But uh, it'll be at the hump, so hopefully our guys will be ready for the game. Our first question is from Michael Bonner of the Jackson Clarion Ledger. Hi, Rick. How are you? I'm good, Michael. Thank you. I'm just wondering, how is I.J. Reddy doing? Um, we haven't seen him yet. Um for today, um, he's coming in when he gets done with classes to meet with our medical staff and, and Dr. Mabry. And once they meet with him and get his temperature and, and get all that gauge, um, I know he's had some tests um, that have uh, been out and they've come back as being negative um, for having the flu. So that's positive news. But um, still have to see where he is with his temperature. Thanks, Rick. Mm-hmm. Next up is Jerry Tipton of the Lexington Herald Leader. Rick, I'm just wondering uh, your thoughts on uh, the Marcus Smart incident and how you uh, uh, deal with uh, player fan interaction with your guys. What advice you give them? Yeah, it's it's really going to be a great teaching point, Jerry. Um, and it, it's unfortunate that something like that has to happen in order to use it as a teaching point. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously I, I probably am not the best person after my incident uh, to probably get advice with on this, but um, we talked to our guys extensively uh, about that do's and um, what to do on the road and how to, you know, conduct yourself on the road and, and uh, really taking the fans out of it and making sure you're focusing in on what's going on on the court only. So, um, But uh, just, just having an experience like that happen, um, now it's going to be a teaching point for our guys, and it's something we'll definitely use here in the next couple of days uh, of talking to our guys about decorum um, with fans. You mentioned your incident. I'm wondering, I mean, you're an adult uh, and, and all of that, and it sounds like your emotions got the best of you uh, for a moment. Uh, does that give you any new uh, uh, appreciation for how you know we're all human and things can flare up? I think I would say this, Jerry, you know, I, I think all of us have, have made mistakes, but I think, you know, in my incident, um, it's just now with the day and age of technology, you're not going to get away with anything, and nor was I trying to get away with anything. Um, I, I think I handled it, you know, correctly by talking to uh, Coach Kennedy directly after the game before I even had knowledge that this was something that was out um, to the public. Um, but I think you also, um, it's good for our guys because they got a chance to see me make a mistake. And now, you know, there's something that's personal to them. And so you don't have to use an outside venue or an outside incident to show, hey, this is how um, you should not act and this is something you should not do. So, you know, I was a, uh, a teaching point and learning point at that time for our guys. 